All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Today, we're going to be talking about Tesla. So you guys know I have a 2024 Tesla Model S Plaid, and I get a lot of questions about should I buy the Model S or should I buy a Plaid? Well, I paid $85,000 for my Tesla Model S Plaid. And uh, I originally ordered the car, but then the ultra red was just delayed so long. That's why I canceled my order for my Model 3 Performance, the 24 Model 3 Performance. You remember I was going to get that, this car right here in the Model 3 Performance for an ultra red. But it, the ultra red colors is delayed. So I decided to go with a plaid. I got tired of waiting, but then that got, got delayed as well. Uh, so I, I just grabbed the stealth gray and actually really like the stealth gray. So I'm going to show you in this video how to get a, a model S plaid for less than what I paid brand new. So first there's a link in the description where you can, um, get a thousand dollars off any Tesla, including the Cybertruck now. So, um, we're going to go here. This is my car right here. So this is what my car costs. Uh, right here, let's uncheck this. That's that's so misleading. Remember, you got to uncheck these on here. The Tesla's Model S Plaid doesn't qualify when you're buying it straight out as a regular consumer for any tax credits. So this is what this car cost if you buy it brand new. Um, I mean, they've updated the the range again. This used to say 359 when I bought it, and now they're saying it's 349. That's this is with all the self driving and the reporting that we're all doing. Um, we're back to Tesla. These ratings, these range, this range just keeps going down and down. But nonetheless, I hear people saying, should I get a Model S or should I get a Plaid? Now, as you can see here, this is a big difference in, in the price. It's $15,000 more to get all the performance and a little less range. So right here, this is where you're going to stop and make a decision. If you want a Model S, you only have two choices. You have to get an all-wheel drive, which is the dual motor, or you have to get the Plaid. Now, some advantages, obviously, to the, the, the just the standard Model S. Well, it has 402 miles of range, top speed 130. Not that a lot of people will go 130. I have already. I've gone over 130 in my play, <laughs> and you get a 0 to 60 in 3.1. So, you know, it, th for the performance, because I think a lot of this boils down to a person wanting performance, but they don't want to pay for it when it comes to Tesla. Uh, th that's just my opinion about the people that I speak to. I'm not saying the person watching this. That's how you feel, but um, yeah, a lot of people just don't want to pay the extra money. So I would tell a person, you know, if you really want a plaid, you need to just buy it because you'll regret it afterwards. You'll you'll drive next to a plaid and they'll take off on you and you'll be disgusted. And then you're <laughs> you have the car you have or you'll buy a Model S and people will think it's a plaid and then they'll run away from you eventually at some point. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a top question that I get. Should I get a plaid or should I get a standard Model S? Well, my, my question to the person, the people asking this question, do you want all the performance? Do you really want a plaid? Because you should go for it. So even and even at these prices, a lot of people are out of the out of the range. This seventy five thousand dollars is way out of the range for most people for a car. They're going to daily drive. The majority of the world is not spending seventy five thousand dollars on a car uh, just to daily drive. But with Tesla's, obviously, it's different. They're very there's no gas, there's no maintenance, there's no nothing. So yeah, you pay a premium price for these cars, but it, the return on it as a as a EV owner uh, and a, a ICE owner, I, I own a 24 Corvette E-Ray, remember? So the difference is astronomical. Uh, I don't spend any time just gas stations. In in my ICE car, it, it doesn't get a lot of time either because I only drive it on the weekends, uh, predominantly. So. Uh, I'm saving money with that because I don't drive it every day. This is my daily driver, a 24 Model S Plaid. But the question remains where you sit financially. And if you're going to finance it, where is your credit? You know, make sure you have at least a 750 credit score before you even try to attempt to finance through Tesla. So I say get the Plaid. If it's on your radar, just go for it. You, you have to go for it because if you don't, I think you'll be upset with yourself. Uh, and again, this video obviously is coming in strong because there's so many people that ask me, is it worth it? And to the owner of the car, I'm going to say, heck yeah, it's worth it. What I've gotten, what I've wanted to pay less. Yeah, I would have wanted to pay less, but I only paid 85,000 for mine because here's what I did. This is my exact spec right here. I just have a stealth gray, no other options, nothing. I got the Tempest wheels, which I actually prefer because you know, it's less weight. And then also it's a way more comfortable ride. That's up to you to decide whether what you think is comfortable or not. Uh, but obviously, the 19-inch wheel with more rubber on the road is going to be a little bit more um, 
uh, comfortable. So this is what I did. I ordered the car and then um, things happened. And so then what I did is I went over to inventory and I told him, I said, find me an ultra red uh, in inventory and oops, find me an ultra red in inventory and give it to me as quick as possible. And so they couldn't find uh, there. I even found some cyber trucks in here. They're all gone now. Yesterday there were cyber trucks in here. Uh, let's go to all deliverable. So I'm going to show you that you can actually get a brand new Tesla Model S Plaid or a brand new Model S, as you can see. So huge savings if you just want a Model S. Uh, big time savings, at least seven thousand dollars difference uh, on some of these. Now these are what's called demo cars. So these are just the cars that they they loan out to people for test drives or they they have them in their shop, just whatever. So, but you can still find cars that are new in inventory with low miles on them or no miles. Cause that's what I did. So these ones that say demo cars, if you don't want to save a chunk of money, I mean, this is a phenomenal deal right here. 70,000 for a model S with 290 miles on it. That's a savings of 6,000 plus dollars. Like that's ridiculous. And 290 miles, I'd buy that if I was, you know, that's not bad at all. Uh, Cause it's technically considered new. So with that said, you want to change this over uh and let's first let's look at some model s's that are brand new that are not demos because they're here uh so let's see here this one has 11 you can just have to keep going for the ones with the lowest miles you'll find them they're in here scattered okay so here's one with 19 miles so this is pretty much a brand new car you save four thousand dollars on this and then with the thousand dollar savings that you get uh from the link i'm, I'm providing with you it's seventy one thousand nine hundred. Yeah, so it's just remember to minus a thousand dollars from these prices with the link. When you click on the link, it'll automatically discount these prices. So here's one with twenty five miles, uh, and this is a premium color on this one. This is a black, the solid black. That's that color costs twenty five hundred bucks. So you're saving uh, a little under five grand on this. So you just look at the the miles on these cars. Find one with under a hundred miles, folks, and get big discounts on top of the link that you press. So here's one that's another brand new one with just selling as is. You know, if you just wanted to get one right away and you don't want any uh, one to have driven it, so to speak, um, they have them in here brand new, just waiting to be sold. And so instead of it being seventy five, it'll be seventy four with the link in the description. So uh, you can get a Model S at a good price and. If you're wondering about the colors, you just go in here and you change to, and separate to the ones that you want. You can do a whole combination here. You can do whatever you want to do in here and you will find them. You'll find what you need. So let's uncheck this and let's click on plaid and look at the price of this plaid right here. Look at these, look at these prices. Now these are considered demo vehicles. Folks, remember now I paid 85 for mine. You don't think I would have purchased this for 81,000 because it has 61? <laughs> Of course I would. So these are there's some differences between these cars. So this car on the right here is actually my car because it has the new sports seats. So if you want the latest and greatest, remember there's two types of 24 models. There's this one right here like I have with the new sports seats and new interior for the front and rear. And then there's this one with the interior uh, from the previous generation from the 23 models. So I mean the difference is one they started building these in my car in, in April. Of, of 2024 so you know they introduced it i believe in april and so you know i wanted the latest seats because i got it at the same price so you can have my car now for basically eight thousand dollars off that's incredible right folks and then if remember now you get another thousand dollars off when you use the link in the description you'll get this car for you get my same car for nine thousand dollars off that is ridiculous, folks. And when you compare that to a Model S brand new, which is 75, you're only spending a little bit more to get a whole lot more. Folks, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend that you go for the plaid and, and go into inventory and find them at a discount. It's totally worth it. And if you just want the latest and greatest, make sure it says sports seats. If it doesn't say sports seats, it's not the latest one. Now here is actually a really good deal. This car would be eighty-three thousand dollars for you. It has one hundred and four miles, and it is an upgraded, uh, updated twenty twenty-four because it has the sport seats. That's a phenomenal freaking deal. Just great deal, folks. 
great deal. I don't recommend you get the 21 inch Tempest wheels. Here's why. They are not worth the higher price of 4,500 bucks. However, if you're in the market and you use a link, you can get the Tempest wheels for a huge, this is like $10,000 off of a plaid, man. This is my same car without any discounts for the same price that I've had, I paid with the Tempest wheels or with the, the, the uh, Air Mat wheels. That's crazy. Some of you guys are going to want the 21 inch wheels because you're not going to want to do aftermarket. Or you just don't like the 19 inch wheels. But folks, these cars are pretty much $10,000 off the Model S Plaid. That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's just a it's a win for those out there that want a Plaid. I say go for the Plaid. Spend the extra five to seven thousand dollars over the price of depending on which one you buy now this is this is ten thousand over uh, of the price of the model s if you decide to go this route but if you don't want to go this way definitely definitely go with the the uh 19 inch wheels you will man i'm telling you these are some phenomenal deals eighty thousand dollars this is still ten thousand dollars off basically for a model s plaid you cannot beat that, man. And buy these cars going into it knowing that this is what you want and you're going to keep it for some time to come because people are going to tell you not to buy it because of depreciation. But people should not be buying cars based on whether they're going to depreciate in two years. Again, I say that all the time. You're supposed to be buying a car that you want that you're going to keep until it just doesn't work anymore. Then you have to buy another car. The Plaid is the ultimate daily driver because it can go to the track. It can quarter mile beat nearly every car on the road. It's a stoplight champion. No one can beat it from a stoplight just about. And um, yeah, it's, it's just all it's a, it's a win. The range is actually it says 359. Now, I've actually got I don't know why the new ones say 348. I've actually gotten 362 on my car fully charging. It's the efficiency. It's how you're driving the car. Uh, I don't always drive with my accelerator to the to the floor. No, I'm just driving around town, getting to where I need to be. And then every now and then somebody might run up on me in a, a whatever car they're driving. They think it's fast. I'm a McLaren or whatever. I don't know. I'm gone. They, they cannot catch me, period. That's just how that's how it goes. So if you want the best of the best, grab a plaid right now for ten thousand dollars off with the link in the description, man. It's a win win. All you Model S owners out there who are on the fence about should you get a plaid? Well, here's your answer right here. Get a plaid. You will thank yourself when you do, because I'm telling you, people who have experienced a plaid again, listen, listen to all these naysayers about oh, it's a battery. It's this is that. Listen to them as they look at your taillights. And, and you catch them at the next spot, whether it's a quarter mile or whatever you're doing with your car. There are very few cars on the road that can beat this car. If that's what you're into, if that's what you're in, because honestly, folks, that's the only reason I got the Plaid. I wanted to be the fastest on the road, even though I have a really fast Corvette in the garage. I wanted to be even faster. And I wanted a production car that was just blow your blow the doors off of people. Just people are just in awe when they sit in this car and they drive it. It's incredible. So, folks, get you a plaid for 10 grand off. You cannot beat this deal. This is the best deal on the Internet if you want a plaid right now. It's just ridiculous. And some people are going to say, well, you can go pre-owned. You can go used. I personally never promote used cars. This is just me. But if you're a person who wants to buy used, well, this is what you're looking at. You don't get the newer interior. You don't get the... Um, you just don't get the the interior, I believe. You don't get some of the tech in there, like the screens don't tilt. Because I know people with 22 models, and they the screens don't tilt in theirs. A lot of people have 22s, uh, and you know this is a great deal though. 62,000 uh, for this car with 28,000 miles on it. It's a great deal. I'm not saying that it's a bad deal at all. Look at this 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 21 Model S long range. It's 43,000. That's a phenomenal deal. That's great. Yeah. Here's a plaid right here with 55,000 miles or 21 for $55,000. I mean, there's there's cars out there that you can get, but I just don't. I try not to promote used cars myself because I don't buy used cars predominantly. I'm in a market where I'm only buying new. I want something that's new to me and, uh, and no one's owned it before. So that's just me, though. You get in the lane you want to get in. You can, in fact, find pre-owned Tesla's uh, plaids. I just showed you a few of them there. 
uh, where it's, it's you're saving even more money. It's up to you to choose. But for a person looking for new cars, the Plaid is the ultimate daily driver. Use the link in the description and grab yours. I'll see you in the next one. Hope I answered your question for all those people out there that always send me messages about should they go with the S or should they go with the Plaid? Right now, you can get a Plaid for $10,000 off. Incredible deal. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.